Grand Rising, everybody. This is Apostle Ross and Solomon, Ross and Solomon's YouTube channel. If you want to see my links, you can look under the videos. I got to update the last couple of videos. They don't have the links under them, but the other ones do. And you can go to my landing page and my about page. And if you want to sow a seed, a top, excuse me, become a partner, the uh, links for PayPal and Cash App are there as well. You want to see my videos here on YouTube and Vimo, the links are there. Um, I have some music on YouTube, but not my last three CDs. I don't have them on here, but you can see, you can listen to them on Spotify, Apple, Deezer, Tidal, places like that. All right. And my blogs and stuff. And where to buy my books and stuff are there as well. And where to write me, to send donations or see, or just to write me. Please don't send me books. One or two pages is fine. And if it's not legible, I'm not even going to strain my eyes to read it. I'm just going to pray over it. <laughs> That's it. All right. Okay, I had seen a vision about the uh, Sheena Inu. And it's so strange because um, I was just giving y'all word yesterday about what the Lord um, was saying about this coin. And in the vision, all I heard God say was, this coin will go out of control. So I woke up and I was like, what do you mean out of control? In a bad way or a good way? He said, in a good way. So I guess by him telling me it's going to go out of control, meaning parabolic status, because he has been giving me the word parabolic since May. And a lot of stuff went parabolic and made people rich. So he says that this coin is going to go out of control. <laughs> in a good way. So I guess whoever you are who has this coin, I'm not telling you to sell whole or buy it. I'm not a guru, financial advisor, money market maker, stock person, none of that. I'm just an apostle with a prophetic layer of the most high. Right? So whoever has this coin, y'all going to be happy one day. He, he didn't tell me when it was going to go out of control. <laughs> but you know, maybe when the next bull run come or, you know, I don't know. Or maybe it could just go out of control on its own, you know, because um, I heard bro Brother Johnny said a couple of times that they're supposed to start burning this coin and for burning it and donating it somewhere, something like that. So maybe when they start burning it, that's what's going to happen. And then God just keep letting me hear Maria Conwell, Dr. Maria Conwell, which I haven't heard anything about her in months, right? But he just keep letting me hear that prophecy I literally heard out of her own mouth where the Lord said, when Sheena goes up, take some of your prophets and go and buy sheep. Now, I'm not telling y'all to buy sheep. I'm not telling y'all to take your prophets. I'm repeating what prophetess Dr. Maria Conwell said. All right. So you can't pin that on me. <laughs> and let me know how she's doing. I haven't heard anything about her. I haven't heard any prophecy words or anything. Have y'all heard anything about her lately? Let me know. I pray she's okay, you know, and doing well in Yeshua's name. Right. Um, does she even know that Benny passed away? Because I know Benny used to talk about her sometimes. Right. Um, so let's just pray, Dr. Prophetess, Dr. Maria Conwell's okay. Um, so that was one. And what in the second one, dog, it just done left my head. <laughs> oh, okay. The Lord said the like, like I was I was heavily invested in Jasmine Coin, but not anymore. I just, you know, some sometime even the strongest strongest you know, give up. <laughs> so I had to go, I had to go back and get a little, but I have nowhere near what I did have. And I'm, and I know I'm going to regret that. I took it and, and, and traded it for a sheep, you know, thinking she was going to go parabolic, but it ain't not yet. <laughs> it didn't do that yet. <laughs> it will, but it didn't. You know what I mean? 
So I, I ain't even, I'm, you know, I'm not even going to trade my she for, for, for the jazz. I'm just, I told daddy, I said, daddy, I'm so fed up. I'm just leaving it wherever it is. And I said, wherever the chips fall, they fall. Whatever I get, I get, you know, so I know I will regret, you know, taking my Jasmine for she, you know, but you know, having a little bit of it is still just as good because y'all know I ain't greedy. I'd be happy with a couple of grand because <laughs> I can multiply that. Y'all know me, you know, I ain't greedy. So long as I'm in it, you know, as long as I'm in the game a little, I'm good. So, you know, I'm in, I'm like Matthew Perry, like he built his way all the way up to a million coins, I think he said, which is good. But by the time I try and build myself up to a million coins, it, Jasmine may have gone parabolic by that time. <laughs> It'll be too late. So I get what I have, what I have, you know. But um, I kept seeing something about Jasmine and it kept saying the fourth quarter, fourth quarter. And I really don't know what that means. I mean, I, I've heard Matthew Perry talk about Jasmine, but I didn't hear him talk about no fourth quarter. And I heard Johnny talk about Jasmine a little bit, but I don't recall him talking about a fourth quarter. So I just keep hearing fourth quarter for Jasmine. Um, and then I heard the word touchdown, right? So I don't, can y'all tell me what fourth quarter mean about Jasmine? Johnny, if you listen to this, Currency 365, can you tell me what fourth quarter mean, right? Because I saw fourth quarter, it was like a football game. I saw fourth quarter and then I heard touchdown and I saw a football field. So when a football guy makes a touchdown, that's points, you know, like they could they could win a game with a touchdown. You know, they could break a tie. So that's so in my opinion, that's that's a good, good dream. But I don't know what the fourth quarter means. So um, whatever the fourth quarter means for Jasmine. Whenever this fourth quarter comes, I heard Jasmine's going to go parabolic when this fourth quarter comes. And then I saw in the spiritual room that there's some kind of changes with Jasmine. I heard the word ecosystem, um, changes to the chain, blockchain, and ecosystem. So, Johnny, if you listen or anybody else, or even if Matthew Perry listening, um, can somebody let me know about the ecosystem and chain chain changes like blockchain and and um, what does uh, fourth quarter mean? Because this fourth quarter thing with Jasmine is going to be a touchdown. It's, it's going to make it parabolic. Like, I didn't hear the word parabolic, but I feel it in my spirit. And y'all know when that happens, it's usually God because it always comes to pass. So y'all let me know about that. Then the Lord show, told, told me about Brother Johnny. Okay, I have to tell you the first dream. I never told y'all this, but I told Brother Johnny. I had another dream of Christopher Harris where I saw God's hand remove the golden crown off his head that I saw before. And he gave it to somebody else. And Brother Johnny was happy. Then after that, and after I talked to Johnny, I saw like, OK, I never told Brother Johnny this, but like a month ago before Christopher Harris dreams and stuff, I had saw um because I was talking to God and I was like, God, why don't Brother Johnny become a validator for a lunatic? And the Lord said that if he does, they won't appreciate him. And sure enough, I heard Brother Johnny two weeks later say that, right? But in a dream, I kept seeing Brother Johnny as a validator, but the Lord said he would not never become one because of how they treat him. But I saw him being a validator. But then I found out yesterday, because he told me, <clears throat> well, I saw a video, then he then we emailed each other. And he told me about some new validator that he, I think he's backing. Right. So I, I prayed about this, this new validator. And I saw all these people flocking under him. They were people from um, Currency 365 crew. Um, they, they, they were people who used to follow Christopher. They were just flocking to this this new validator. And I kept hearing the word brown. 
So I don't know if his last name is Brown. I can't even remember if Brother Johnny told me the man's name, right? But I kept hearing the word Brown surrounding this man. So maybe it's his last name, you know, and Brown in the spirit realm means humbleness and goodness and meekness. And I just kept seeing so much excitement around this new validator to the point where I was getting chills down my body. And as I'm talking about it right now, I'm getting chills down my body. So, and then the Lord said that anybody, and see, I'm not saying this to discredit Christopher Harris. Lord knows he did it to me, but I, I don't do evil for evil. But I heard the Lord as clear as day. He said that if people do not follow Johnny, brother Johnny, and with all the good advice he's giving you, you'll regret it. Now, I made a video saying that God said Johnny was going to be doing new stuff, and he is. Look at this validator stuff, you know, and that um, we would be blessed listening to him and following instructions through him because God was utilizing him. And on the video, I heard Johnny talking about this new validator, and then he sent me an email. So I was like, Daddy, so basically you saying people need to start following this validator that Johnny's doing. And then I was like, God, but if I say this, they're going to think I'm being emotional because of what Christopher Harris said about me. And they're going to think that I'm being vengeful. And I'm not because y'all know I don't do that kind of stuff. I let God handle that. And then the Lord said, speak my word. So basically what God was telling me is all of y'all who follow Christopher Harris, y'all need to stop following him. And follow this new validator that, that Johnny knows. And then there are some other validators that God said Johnny has spoke of, but I don't know who those are that are good validators. So between this new validator that Johnny is working with, and then there's a couple of top tier, whatever that means, because I kept hearing top tier validators that God is okay with you you following. But basically he was saying, all of y'all who following Christopher Harris, you need to unfollow him because that man is under judgment. And God called him a cursed thing because of what he said about me. And it's not just about me. The Lord said uh, other things about Christopher Harris that I'm not going to repeat, right? And he was trying to give Christopher Harris a chance to get right and confess. And people told me that Christopher Harris has confessed that some of his prophecies was false. A lot of his prophecies are false. And that's all I'm going to say. And he needs to pray. He needs to repent. He needs to confess. And he needs to get right with God. He needs to be delivered from pride and arrogancy and, and religious spirit. This is what the Lord said. I'm not going against this man. I'm just telling you what he said. And I'm telling y'all to pray for Christopher Harris. Jesus is Lord. What he call himself? Um, because he needs deliverance and God judgment is going to fall on him. If you don't believe me, get on your knees and pray for yourself because God said he's relented. He's not going to repent and he's prideful and he's not going to confess that he lied about me. OK, so this is why judgment is going to come on him. So you prophets and all of y'all that follow him, y'all need to go and pray yourself and confirm what I'm saying to you before it's too late for y'all. All right. And get behind Johnny and his this validator. And, and there's like four at the top tier. Like I see something like out of 12 of them. It's four of them. Um, that's top tier that you could follow as well as the, the valid validator Johnny's hooked it to. But anybody that listens to Johnny, God said you're going to be blessed. And I'm not saying this because he's my brother, because me and Johnny have had. A couple of ups and downs. Johnny know me well. Johnny ain't Johnny know I'm not going to be saying stuff that God did not set. So I want y'all to take this word about Johnny and the validator to God. And I want you to take this word about Christopher to God. And I want you to take this word to God about the four top tier ones as well. Don't just take my word for it. Take it to God and test the spirit. Much love. Talk to you later on my radio show. The link is in the community tab and um, on my Facebooks. Shalom.